Hello and welcome back to Drive. In today's video, we'll create a page scroll interaction. So let's get straight into it. We have our hero section already prepared. And what we want to achieve is that the section below will come into view as we scroll over the hero section, giving it a floating effect. Before we implement the interaction, let us dive into how we use the position feature on the second section. So firstly, we'll take an image element and import our image, over which we'll overlay all other elements. Next, before we start importing our images, we will set the section's position to relative. What this will do is that the elements inside this section will be positioned relative to this section instead of the entire page. Now, let's add an image element and import the images we want. We will set its position to absolute and place it using its X and Y values. We'll also increase its Z index to 2, layering it over the previous image. When an element's position is set to absolute, it is removed from the usual flow of the document and positioned relative to its closest ancestor or placed relative to its initial containing block. We'll repeat the same process with the rest of the images on this section. Now that we have this section ready, let's add our interaction. Go into the interaction panel, select Pages tab and set the trigger to while page is scrolling. This means that the interaction is being applied on the entire page while the page is being scrolled. Now, add a custom response. We want the section to move upwards while we scroll, so we'll add the second section to the custom interaction panel and add a move interaction. In the timeline, start from approximately 5% to 40% of the way. Next, we'll set the y-axis movement to minus 100 view height making this section move up through the entire screen while the page is scrolled. Let's check out if our interaction works properly or not. Here we can see that some of the elements from the hero section come over the second section. Let's fix this. Simply select the section and from the position panel adjust its Z index by increasing it to more than any other elements on the hero section. We'll just set it to let's say 10. Let's check it out again now. And there we go. Our interaction works perfectly. Try this out with your websites and let us know how it looks. Subscribe to Drive for more and we'll catch you in the next one.